Hello everybody and welcome to another Adobe Fireworks tutorial. I found myself in need of rendering a more digital look to our world map for an application I'm building. And this is the result you see here. So if anyone is interested in seeing how simple it was to render this way, juice up your Fireworks graphics editor and come on along to follow the workflow, bro. Okay, first thing is open an image you have of a world map, which can be acquired through photo exchange websites or clip art exchange websites or whatever you can just look for world maps or continents okay let me get my properties bar up here so you can see what's going on and as everybody knows you can highlight an image or you can just grab your magic wand and click some kind of shape that has a different outline than everything else around it and press control C and control V and what you'll have there is a cutout you can also adjust the precision of the marquee and everything like that when your magic wand tool is at play but you can't work with or treat this object like a raw graphical path and that's really what you want to have to apply the most graphics editing to it so let's just press control X so we don't want that so let's highlight the image again and now what we're going to do is grab the magic wand tool and I'm going to highlight all of these and you can adjust your tolerance and your edge to make it just the right cutout that you need but what I'm going to do is press shift and hold as I select all of these and if there's some small ones I can zoom in by pressing control and mouse wheeling so I can get those small ones too you don't want to forget anybody so just highlight all of those and if you have to mess up and lose all of your selections you can just press control Z and it'll back up one step for you okay now when it looks like little tiny maggots are wriggling along the edges of all of your continents that you want selected then you go up to select Convert Marquee to Path, and this is the magic part here. Now, we can just take the image that we used, and the, let's turn our canvas first to black so you can see what's going on. Then we can take our image that we used as a guide, and Control X, and now you can see we have here, let's see, let's remove that edge so you can see exactly what's going on. There, that's 100%, so you can see I've effectively punched everything out. And now the beauty of this is then you can just, you can put any kind of gradient fill if you wanted to have maybe a gradient fill. And you can give it edges easily. So as you can see, I can easily give it edge and fill color, no problem. And I can also take that and give it filters and everything that I need to. And you can also go down here to the textures and apply any textures that you want. That's why it's handier to use this method instead of using the regular magic wand then control C control V to cup copy the selection so in this in this case what we've done is we've just made the selections and then we went to select and convert marquee to path while the selections were still wriggling like little worms there okay now I'll show you how to make it look exactly the way I made the other one look so it has a nice digital effect to it first thing is let's go to the canvas size and let's make that a little bit larger than it is now so we have room to work maybe 900 by 550 okay and that'll give me a little bit of cushion around it now we highlight it and we can give it an edge any color we want and what I did is I went to the edge options or the stroke options and I chose dashed and I chose dotted texture was it was one of the dotted ones here wherever those are let's see little dots I think that was it and I brought it down way down something like that and I had the color very dark which like I said you could give it a gradient fill if you want that's always an option so once I had that I just gave it an inner glow I went to filter glow inner glow and I made it the bright green made it spread really good brought it down to two and then down here a little bit and then that's what I wound up with now let's copy that select it copy it by pressing control C then control V to paste a new copy of itself on top of it so you can see if I move it out of the way there's two of them now I'll press control Z to put it back what I'm gonna do is just press up once and over to the right ones. I'm going to highlight that one on top. Control C, Control V. Do the same process. Up once, over once. Now I can highlight all three of those. 
press Control G to group them. And now it's all one group that you can move around. And then I took a rectangle and I put it behind everything. Well, really, when you place the rectangle, it's going to be in front of everything. And let's just make that solid. Well, actually, let's give that a gradient radial. And then I can adjust that radial gradient like so. And then I'm going to make the green a dark gray. And then this black. And then highlight that and press Control Shift down arrow key and it'll put it to the back. And there you go. And then finally, what I did was I highlighted my little group there. I went to Filters and I dropped Shadow on it. And I adjusted the shadow to be facing this way. I made it about four, made it more tight and all the way visible. Like I said, using the Select Convert Marquee to Path is a good way to take those magic wand selections and instead of grabbing the actual bitmap that's under the selection you can make the selection into an actual native shape in fireworks to do whatever you want with it okay I hope you enjoyed this one we'll see you next time